So I want to welcome all of our families for coming this evening. We want to send a big thank you to Denise Sittler, our strings teacher, for making this happen. We're very lucky to have somebody that's so ded dedicated and so caring about our, our children. Uh, and we're really excited to have her present this concert this evening uh, for our middle school and our high school uh, string students. So thank you once again to Ms. Sittler. Uh, thank you to all of our families and of our st for our students for, for making this, this happen. Uh, and we look forward to the, the presentation and the concert for tonight. Thank you, Mr. Lanitas and Mr. Dredge for that um, wonderful and your kind words of encouragement and support. Without your support, we wouldn't even be having this event uh, tonight. So I want to thank you all for taking the time out of your evening to join us this evening for this concert. A little bit different, to be sure, um, but what's, what's normal these days? Um, my String Ensemble students and I are thrilled to be able to present this concert to you. You'll see the ensembles perform as well as some students who have done solos. <clears throat> so let's get started. Our first performer is Tavo Vincent Warner. He's an eighth grader uh, playing cello and he's been a delight to have in class. I've just thoroughly enjoyed him. And he'll be playing La Cinquetin. I said that wrong, I'm sorry, Jenny. Um, and this is by Gabriel Murray. So here we go, Tavo. Thank you, Davo. That was great. Um, I really appreciate you doing that solo for us. So this is, as you know, this has been quite a year for everybody. And I want to thank the students for the awesome job that they have done preparing for this concert. Uh, when we started back in September, we had no idea what a concert would look like for us. Um, would we even have a concert? So we decided to go ahead and prepare as if we were going to be able to do something, whatever that was, uh, trying to be flexible. Um, and these students have worked, as I said before, really, really hard to prepare this. Um, Frontier, as you know, has been hybrid. And most of my students have been online during our classes, except for maybe one or two um, uh, coming in. Uh, to the classroom. So learning the music as a group wasn't very easy um, and challenging to say the least. We had to use a lot of imagination, uh, had to use a lot of recordings, a lot of breakout rooms um, so I could check and see how the students were doing. 
Uh, but to say, you know, they, they actually had to learn this music pretty much on their own um, with some coaching. Um, so I'm very impressed with how these students have done. Um, our next performance is my Tuesday middle school class. Unfortunately, the night we were to record, we had to cancel due to the weather. So we were fortunate enough to have Alec Eckel from FCAT come in and run a camera for us and take some cool shots uh, while we played. Um, so uh, the Tuesday morning class, uh, or Tuesday afternoon, excuse me, uh, played the theme from Beethoven's Fifth, arranged by Jeremy Wollstenholm. And um, it's an easier version, of course, but um, nonetheless, they had to work hard on it, and you should be able to recognize it. So, theme from Beethoven's Fifth. Thank you. Didn't they do great? I'm so proud of them. Um, and those were three of the students that I'm able to see in person on the Tuesday afternoon. Uh, Matthew Sibley, um, Emily Candelaria, and um, Kiefer Ebling. Um, so next we have one of my high school students playing um, Fantasia One of the Allegro by George Philip Telemann, and he's a 10th grade violist. And I actually realized when he came in as a 7th grader that that was not the first time I met him. I actually first met Alex as a, I believe, second grader over at Deerfield when I taught after school piano. So it was quite, quite a lot of fun to remind him of that and when I first met him as a seventh grader. Uh, he's been a lot of fun to have in class and I, I just thoroughly enjoy having him. So here he is playing Fantasia One, the Allegro.
Thank you, Alex. I just wish that each of these students that are playing solos, I wish they could hear the applause because um, without the applause, you don't really know how much your piece is appreciated. Um, but I just also want to say that I want to commend these students that have done solos so far and the ones that are coming because playing a solo is really difficult. Uh, you're putting yourself out there and it, it can just be very intimidating. So I want to applaud my students for doing these solos. Thank you so much. Our next performer is Noah. He's an eighth grader and it's kind of exciting because it's not very often you get to hear a solo bass. Um, you hear in groups, you hear them as, you know, uh, accompaniment, but very seldom do you hear them as solos. So it's really kind of exciting that Noah wanted to do a solo for us. And he's uh, going to be playing Alley Cat, a jazz tune. If I'm not mistaken, I think jazz is one of his favorite genres of music. Um, but here's Noah Holmes on the bass playing Alley Cat. A two, a one, two, three. Thank you, Noah. That was great. Again, I got a clap for you because um, I think you did amazing. All right, so I think the group of students that have had the hardest time, or one of the hardest times, have been our seniors. Last year, our seniors missed out on their prom. They had a totally different kind of graduation. Um, and this year's Seniors have missed out on a lot of our traditions that we normally would have throughout the year. Um, which is really very kind of, it's very hard. And what I've noticed though is they, they're trying not to let this get the best of them or in their way. They're persevering and pushing on and it, it just makes me proud to see how hard they work, they work um, through these trying times. So our next performer is a senior. That's another solo, and it's Kieran Dowd. Dowd, I'm sorry. I've only known uh, Kieran for two years, but in the time that um, I have seen him in my class, uh, I've watched him grow into a leader. Um, and he thoroughly enjoys making music. He enjoys playing his violin, and he's always ready always prepared 
And so here's Kieran Dowd playing the violin, uh, Star Wars from, the, uh, from Star Wars 4, A New Hope. Thank you, Karen. Uh, I enjoy that so much. Thank you so much for doing that. All right, so next we have Sasha. Sasha Malo is in eighth grade, and she's going to be playing the theme for Mendelssohn's Violin Concerto. Now, I miss Sasha coming into my classroom because Sasha always has a grin on her face. She's always happy. and. Uh, she loves to play the violin, so um, she's always one right there with answering questions, et cetera. So um, she's just a delight, as all are my, all my students. It's hard to pick one you like over the other because they're all so great. But anyway, so here's Sasha Malo playing the theme for Mendelssohn's Violin Concerto. All right, thank you, Sasha, that was great. Again, I just wish these kids could hear the clapping that I hope you guys are doing in your living room because um, 
I, I can't say enough how proud I am of these, um, these kids. Um, our next performance is my third, I'm sorry, my Friday class. I keep saying Thursday because we, we recorded on a Thursday night. Um, but this is my Friday class, um, uh, well some of them, uh, playing the Great Gate of Kiev, which is a bigger, part of a bigger work called The Pictures at an Exhibition by Modest uh, Mazorsky. All ten movements are based on paintings that were at an art exhibit for a friend of Mazorsky's who passed away suddenly. Um, and uh, so this is played by my middle school class. And I have to say that I allotted, gosh, I think I might have allotted an hour and a half for them to record. And I believe we did it in under an hour. To me, that's just incredible. I mean, if you've ever done a recording session, uh, you know how hard it is. And for these kids to come in, be prepared, and do it that quickly is just amazing. I told them that we weren't out for perfection because this is a concert. And in a live concert, we would not be perfect. So we weren't out per for perfection. We were just out for as best as we could, the, the best we could do. So I hope you enjoy the Great Gate of Kiev. Now, you hear the clapping, but I want to assure you there was no live audience. Mr. Murphy, our tech teacher, added the clapping um, because I wanted to have the bow after we played. And so he added the clapping, and I thought, I just think it's great. Um, I want to, again, I want to thank all the students that have done solos. You're amazing to me, and thank you so much. And, you know, I realized as we were preparing for this that. We never really gave the students a chance to perform solos. And I kind of wish that we had done recitals during the year, not just our concerts. So um, yeah, that's a regret that I have, but we're getting it now. So, and maybe in the spring for our spring concert, we can do something. Our next soloist is Abigail. Abigail is a 10th grade viola student and Abigail brings a lot of joy to our class. <laughs> we have a lot of fun. She's, she's an incredible student. Um, so here is Abigail Goff, grade 10, 
playing variations on Schindler's List. I'm Abigail and this is a variation on the Schindler's List theme by John Williams. Thank you, Abigail. That was lovely. Um, I love Schindler's List, the music. All right, so this next piece um, has been a favorite of mine for a while now, especially after having the opportunity to go to Korea, South Korea um, <clears throat> a couple of years ago. Arirang is the unofficial national anthem of Korea. Uh, of the people there. And if you ask anybody, they know the song. It's amazing. And it is said that Aryang is the name of a mountain pass in Korea, but I couldn't figure out where it was. Um, I don't know if it was a language barrier or what, but nobody could seem to tell me where it was. <laughs> but I did try. Um, and it appears to be a love song However, with lyrics like, my beloved one, my beloved one is going over the mountain. If you leave and forsake me, lame you will be going three miles. Not sure if it's really a love song or what, but anyway, the Korean people love it and it, it's a beautiful, beautiful me melody. Having introduced that song, um, the high school was the first group that was brought together to record. It was our first song we recorded, Ariang was. 
I'm not going to lie, it was an extremely emotional time for us all. The students will probably say, especially for Mrs. Sittler, um, it, it, was, it, was, it was just an incredibly moving moment. They're warming up, they're, I mean, they, they, it was their first take on Ariang, and I looked over at one of my students and I just burst into tears because it was just, it was amazing to be together after all this time. I can't describe the emotions. So without further ado, here is Ariang, a Korean folk song. I still got emotional watching it. Um, so, for our next solo, we have Luke Howard on the cello. He's grade seven. And I've just gotten to get to know him a little bit over the last few weeks as he's been able to come to my classroom. And um, he's, a, he's a great kid. And he's, he decided he wanted to do a solo. So he's gonna be playing Lully. Gavat.
Thank you, Luke. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed your playing that. Thank you so much. And again, I just wish that the kids could all hear you clapping at home because um, I think they're doing incredible. And I'm sorry if I'm gushing, but I'm very proud of these guys. So our next uh, piece is the high school again. It's the um, Mountain King from Pier Gint's um, suite. And it tells the story of a young boy, Pier Gint, who falls in love with a girl but is not allowed to marry her. He runs away into the mountains but is captured by the trolls who take him to, uh, to their king. And um, so this is the Mountain King, my high school strings. I love how Mr. Murphy put the applause in. <laughs> um, so before we go on, I want to give a shout out to my seniors, Lanesha New and um, Kieran Dowd and Zoe Gottschalk. Um, Kieran, uh, I've only known for two years, but Lanesha and Zoe, I've known since seventh grade and gotten to know them and um, last few months with them and I'm going to miss them tremendously. Um, and Kieran, I'm not going to miss you any less, but I'm going to miss all of you. So just wanted to give you all a shout out. Um, this next performer, I told my strings that we had a special guest star, and they were trying to guess who it was. Um, I'm playing a duet with myself. Sorry guys, nobody famous. I know you had all these high hopes, but it's just me. Um, I decided since so many of you students were brave uh, enough to do solos, I should do something. So I dedicate this to you, my students who I love. And I don't just say that, I truly mean that I love you. And but I also dedicate this to all our teachers, our administrators, custodial staff, K-12 
cafeteria staff, and the families of all our students. We have, and I hope I'm not forgetting anybody, but if I am, it was not intentional. Um, we have had to use so much imagination over the last year. It hasn't been easy on any of us. I don't think anybody can say it's been harder on one person or one group than another, but um, so I'm dedicating to this, this to all of you. We've had to use such imagination. Um, it, it's, it's been a challenge and sometimes we fail and sometimes we succeed and we go on from there. But so this next song is Pure Imagination from Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. And you'll notice there's two performers. I hope you enjoy this. <laughs> that was a lot of fun and very difficult. Um, in closing, first of all, I want to thank each and every one of you for watching us tonight and supporting our students. Um, it's very important for them to know that, that their work is appreciated. And I know, for one, I truly appreciate all the, the work that they have done. I also want to thank the families of my students because without them, without you, um, it'd be difficult for them to um, continue to perform. So I want to thank you. Um, administration, Mr. Lanitas, uh, Mr. Dredge, Ms. Um, Sarah Mitchell, and Mr. Modesto. Um, without your support of the arts department, 
we couldn't do things like this. And so I want to thank you for your encouragement and for your help in being able to pull this off. Um, my husband, Bill Sittler, for coming to Frontier after be, being retired and not recording a year. He reluctantly, not reluctantly, he did. He wanted to do it for me and for my students. Uh, pulled out his recording gear and brought it up to Frontier and helped us out. And of course, there were people who ran the cameras. Alec Eckel, Megan Self, and Josh Levine. Thank you so much for giving up your evening for us. And lastly, Mr. Kevin Murphy from FCAT. I don't even know how to thank him. Um, it just means so much to me to have him help me. So thank you, and I hope you all have a good evening.